Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making a Filipino dessert called a mango float. And I saw this on Best Baker in America on Food Network. One of the bakers made it, I forgot which one, but I thought it would be interesting to try and I'd never heard of it before and mango is one of my favorite fruits. So yeah, now I'm gonna get started. I already have my mixing bowl out and in there I'm gonna pour in my sweetened condensed milk. I'm gonna pour the whole can in. And then next I'm going to put in my heavy whipping cream. And then I'm going to mix this together until it forms stiff peaks. Now that I have all of this whipped together, I'm going to take some of my mango. I'm just doing how much I would want. You can put a lot more than me in, you can put a lot less. I'm just going to start with some scoops, a few first, and then mix them in. Or fold them in. So I'll start with like that much, and then I'll start folding it in. I think I'm going to add some more. And you want to save some to put on the top as well. So I'm not going to use all of it. I think that's a good amount. That way it's nice and creamy. So now what I'm going to do with my cream and mango mixture is I have my pan over here and I already laid out some graham crackers here and parch paper, parchment paper is in the pan so that way I can lift the cake out all in one. So first I'm going to scoop some of this on here, some of my cream and I'll put it on my graham crackers. I'm going to scoop some more. And spread it out a little bit. Get more. Just put as much as I can before I think it's enough. Pretty much covering all the graham crackers. And another scoop over here. And then a little bit more right here. Okay, I think that's good. So now I'm going to take more of my graham crackers over here. And I'm going to I am in. And then the last graham cracker goes here. And then I'm going to add some more cream on top. And then I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do another layer, so I'm just gonna add a bunch of my cream in. Some more right here. I'm just gonna spread it out as much as I can. Okay. And then I'm I think I can add another layer, so I'm just gonna add it to three gram crackers here. 
And then I don't really have halves left, so I'll just put it this way. And then I'm going to add the rest of my cream on top. And I already tasted the cream and it tastes pretty good. I haven't tasted it with the mango though. So I'm excited to taste it all together with the graham crackers and everything. Yeah, this was pretty much a perfect amount of cream and mango I needed because almost all of my cream is gone. Now, I'm gonna take the rest of my mango over here in my bowl and I'm going to scoop it on the top. So now I'm just going to sprinkle some on top. I might just put some here and there. It's hard to kind of spread it out with a spoon. And this also depends on how much mango you want. If you wanted to, you could cover the rest, or you can save the rest that's in your bowl and just eat it separate. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it at that, and I still have a little bit left. If I really wanted to, I could cover the whole top, but I'm gonna leave it at that. And the next step is, you can either put it in the freezer for about four hours, or the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to put it in the fridge overnight. So I let it chill overnight and now I'm going to cut into it and taste it. So it was super easy to cut into, probably because all the cream made the graham crackers really soft. So now I'm going to try it. I think the mango float tastes pretty good and I think it's a little too sweet in my opinion because there's just a lot of like the mango sweet, the graham crackers are sweet and the cream is sweet so that balance is kind of okay. I think next time I would add less condensed milk because that's probably where most of the sugar flavor I'm getting is coming from. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content.